pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't Hey, what is going on, guys? It's here. Welcome back to a brand new video today. Today, I'm going to be showing you a very good tutorial on how to get channel art. Channel art is one of the main features you will need for your channel to enhance the look of your page and to engage viewers into your channel. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make that today. A lovely gaming banner in Photoshop. I just thought I'd just point this out. You don't have to use Photoshop, you can use anything you want. GimpPaint.net. I'm doing everything I'm doing in this tutorial, you'll have in the thing. You just got to look around for different places. Uh, don't feel de demotivated if you don't have Photoshop. You can always get GIMP or something like that. Alright, so let's get into it. You want to create a new uh, file, file new, what's called this? I'm going to call this tutorial CA for channel art. Make sure this is on pixels. The width is 2560, height 1440. And um, pretty much. You can use uh, any, the rest is like just copy mine and you want this to be transparent. So when you click open, you'll see you've got this lovely thing yet. I'm going to go into my desktop and I'm going to pull out an image of the game that I'll be playing. You can put multiple images in. I'm just going to be putting one in. I'll show you how to get two in. But I think for the moment, you can scale this to how you want. I think this is good. Now you can download many banner templates um, online. I've decided to use one from a, a YouTuber who gave this out. Uh, his link will be in the description if I can remember. Um, but you want to just make sure it's 2561.14 and when you put this in, it will show this. This whole bit here, what computer can see, this, this box here is what mobile can see and this is what tablet can see. And it says the TV can see whole, all of it but they don't really get it. All right, now, getting onto your um, Overwatch or whatever game you want, you want to drag this over to the left and you'll see this is what it's going to look like from the banner when it, you can see it here. Next, you want to go over to here and get this rectangular marquee and if I hold on to this, you can see all these different ones here. I'm going to use the rectangular one. You want to put your mouse like over here and just drag this down until it meets the black bar of the banner. Now you want to hold shift button on your computer and do the same thing on the other side. Make it go there and then drop it off. Now you can see you've got these boxes around. You want to go to the fill bucket tool and it could be on this gradient thing. You'll hold down. It should be one of these. Click on paint bucket and then just create a new layer down here. Or you can go up to layer, new, layer, call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this black bars just because they're bars and they're black so do that and then you just want to fill it in and you can see if i click up to the top select deselect then you you can see it does this now i'm going to get my second game in um i've decided to do uh, warframe battlefield one i don't know why i said warframe and you want to scale this down to whatever side you want enter it go up to this drag and drop thing here and you want to just drag this here and put it in the selected bit i'm going to put it like that now of course you want to drag this under the black bar so it looks a little bit more clean now as you can see you've got one section here one section here each game we want now you want to go to the eraser tool it could be one of these click on the eraser so let's create a um on the on the screen the the second game here battlefield one you want to right click on it and click rasterize layer that means you can actually rub it out you want to come up to here and you want to make the size up to like about that and you make the hardness all the way down to zero now as you can see if i make a if i make a kind of a line down here it kind of like fades into the other game which just looks look a little bit more cleaner and it just looks better overall now i'm going to create a new layer i'm just going to click on this button here on top of both of the games i'm going to pick any color i want i'm going to pick a nice blue blue is my favorite color you want to click ok and you want to just fill this whole layer 
like that and you can see it doesn't really look good uh, it may look good to you you might want to use it but I'm not going to use it you want to come over to here where it says opacity and if it doesn't say that you should come out to window click workspace and click design um, design means it's going to look like everything here is going to have all this stuff here you want to make the opacity you just want to drag that down as you can see it looks kind of clean like this you've got your game here and your game here and your favorite color if you want your favorite color there you get your color there and it looks pretty good now you want to create your new text uh, you want to create a new layer it will create a new layer automatically you want to put in whatever you want I'm going to type in tutorial probably spell that we type that again tutorial I'm gonna double click this and pull up the size and as you can see it looks really bad the font is horrible you can always download loads of fonts online defont.com any font you want you can find online uh, I'm gonna go and put in a font I'm gonna put it in one that's called intro. Um, I want to make the colour white, but as you can see, I right click, I double clicked it, and I came up here like that. You can make the colour anything you want, but I think white looks the best in the end. Now it's in a bit of a weird position. You want to make this centre so it looks super clean. You want to come over to here, and as you can see, this thing here. You want to find the magic wand tool. If you don't see it and you just see that, you just want to hold on it, click magic wand, and you want to make sure you're selected in the tutorial text. And just click and it will do this and it'll go all the way around the text uh it can be whatever you you can even have your logo to do this if i'm honest you can use anything you want um now you want to just go up to layer align list to selection hor no, vertical centers that'll make it like center of the thing layer align list to selection horizontal centers and i just got to hit and select selection and click deset and as you can see it's in the middle of the thing it's nice and big and it looks pretty cool so you, it's pretty much like this is what a basic channel art would be but if you want to enhance it a little bit you want to right click on your tutorial layer and click blending options now you want to come down to stroke it could be anywhere depending on your uh, version of photoshop i've got c6 you want to click on the stroke and you want to put this up a little bit I'm going to make the font, I'm going to make it size 6 and you'll see that way because I'm going to make a 3D kind of effect on it. It's going to look pretty cool. Now you want to come up to drop shadow. You can you can make a drop shadow if you want, you don't have to. I think I'm going to leave it out because I'm going to make a 3D layer anyway. Now I'm just going to go into gradient overlay, click on this and as you can see it's like this. You'll see this little gradient here, you want to click on this gradient and you want to drag this black one on the left all the way to like here and the white one right next to it so it's like a sharp turn as you can see it looks a bit like this you can drag it up and down like this if you want i'm just going to make it about there now you up see the see when you're on the grain over there you can see the opacity here you just want to bring that down as you can see it looks pretty clean i'm going to bring this up a tiny bit and if you want to make it look really cool make it really heavy and then go into inner glow and you want to make the like size quite big as you can see, it looks alright. You can put, turn the opacity down if you really want to. But I like the look of that. It looks pretty cool. Now you want to duplicate this layer. So you can right click it and just click duplicate layer if you want to. See how it says tutorial copy. I'm just going to do that. See, now I've got two text layers. Um, I'm going to go into the text tool here. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm going to highlight all of it and turn it black. As you can see it looks pretty cool if I'm honest. Now you want to go into the blending options again, right click on it and go into blending options. You want to turn off every single one apart from stroke. So turn off gradient overlay, turn off inner glow and it's going to look pretty weird. <laughs> now over here, as you can see your layers here, you've got this one on the top. You want to grab the one on the top that we've just changed and bring it down to the bottom. As you can see there's not really any change from the start. You want to go up to the move tool and make sure you're selecting on the bottom one now. You can even use the little four keys, the up, down, sides, that way. You can use that and you can just gonna go down. I see it, it just brings it, just brings it, it looks a little bit cooler. Alright, now we're gonna go over to the text bit and then make a new thing. I'm just typing gaming. I'm gonna make this a white colour. I'm going to bring the size about a 
here. It doesn't really matter if it's centre this one, but this is about centre. So as you can see when I'm dragging it, if it says on the bottom 0 .0, 0 0.00, it means it's centre. And 0 0.04 is close. Now we're going to click on uh, tutorial, the top one that has got all these effects on. Right click it, copy layer style. Click on the one that we just make, it says gaming or whatever you want, your slogan or what you're going to do on the channel. Right click it and click paste layer style and you can see it's going to come out like this. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to edit this a tiny bit and just make the stroke go down a little bit. It looks a bit stupid when it's got a huge stroke. And, uh, as you can see, the tutorial, it's pretty much done. You can add anything you want now. Uh, if I go over to here, you can see it. I've got like a big knit. I don't know how to say it. Big knit. And I'm not ha sure how you copy this. I think it's control C or something like that. I'm pretty sure it is. But if it's not, never mind. If I go back onto my tutorial and try and paste it. No, I didn't come through. Maybe I can just type it in on my phone. As you see, I just drank in the vignette, and you want to make this the same size as the thing, really. And that that'll just make the edges a little bit blackened a little bit, and it looks really cool. Now I've pretty much finished the tutorial. You want to come over to your see these black bars here. You don't want that. You want to delete that. As you can see, it looks like a really clean tutorial. It looks really sick. I love the way it looks. It's like kind of like my channel art. It's just got a nice picture here, and you can barely even tell the cut between the two games. Looks pretty cool. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I love doing videos like these, just showing you guys how to do uh, how to do things in Photoshop, things in real life. I just love making these videos. Leave your suggestions down below what you want me to do next. I'll be doing tons more gaming, tons more channel tutorials, maybe outro tutorials. Who knows? So apart from that, that's the end of this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Peace.